there and happy Friday. It's Coach Becky with your Friday Fit Tip. So it's the month of September and all month we've got a theme on our Friday Fit Tips about cravings. What are they? Why do we get them and how do we stop eating these, with these cravings? Well, there's a lot of re reasons we have cravings. We talked about what we've eaten in the last 24, 48 hours can trigger some unusual cravings sometimes. Today we're going to actually talk about the trigger. Are there certain triggers that create the urge for you to binge eat or have a craving for a certain type of a food? Yes, we have emotional triggers. That might be boredom, anxiety, anger, or frustration. We take it out with food or we, we manage it with food. We also might have environmental triggers. I snack as soon as I watch TV. It, they go hand in hand, snacking TV. I see a candy dish, and when I walk by it, it's in my environment, I eat the candy in the dish. That would be an environmental trigger. So what do we do with these things? Well, let's talk about emotional triggers. You get angry, you get sad, you get frustrated, and you eat. Well, if we wanna get analytical about it, we can look at why those emotional things are happening and try to manage them. That's not easy and it takes a lot of time. I encourage you to do that. But the other thing that we can do is when we get anxious, bored, tired, or angry, and we realize it, shift your focus away from the food. Distract yourself. Now, I wouldn't go watch TV because you can watch TV and do something else too, right? Distract yourself with something that needs a bit of your attention. For instance, balancing your checkbook, whether online, or I'm old school, the paper checkbook, right? Calling a friend, getting out and taking a walk, turning on a yoga video or a Pilates video or a high intensity training video for a few minutes. Anything to distract you from the emotion that's creating the urge for cravings and binging, right? Second thing is if it's a physical or an environmental trigger, remove the dang trigger. If there's donuts on your countertop in the kitchen, yeah, you're probably gonna eat the donut. We need to get that out. You got a candy dish that's glass and you can see into it. We need to get that out, all right? So if you have a environmental trigger of eating while you watch TV, get on your treadmill or get on a stationary bike or get on the floor and start doing some planks and side planks and whatnot so you physically cannot eat while you're watching TV, which triggers that craving. So in other words, what I'm asking you to do is to divert to something else that then becomes associated with your activity. If you eat while you watch TV, do something else while you watch TV so that you can't eat. If you mindlessly munch on, I don't know, some snack, trail mix, while you're in a Zoom meeting, stop the trail mix by moving it out of the area where you have to be in front of the Zoom. So again, triggers, can be changed by changing your environment, getting things out of your visual area, right? Or, or not associate, or changing the association between an activity and the food, like the TV watching, or simply distraction. Removing the thought of the, or getting away from the thought of the craving or the binging by doing something else that requires your mind at least a little bit. So. Those are my tips for this Friday on how to manage your cravings. Manage your triggers, manage your environment. You can do this. This is Coach Becky with your Friday Fit Tip. Make it a great day.